Hello everybody, uh, this is Shalom and today we are going to introduce the activity we have for Advanced English 2. We are group number 551017 underscore 18 for the tutor Viviana Ospina. So guys, let's start. Hi, Hi how everyone. are you? Hi everybody, how is it going? Hi girl. Good to remember the coffees are on me. Oh, thank you, Jose. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, we're going to start with the meeting. Uh, Juana, your English has improved a lot. How long have you been uh, studying English? I've been studying English for more than seven years in my school. Uh, English was a subject where we did an extracurricular classes with a university and we had cure a technical in English and French. Since I was a child and very young, I have been very interested in the language. And I had French bases and well, everything I have learned about English. Okay, amazing. Uh, by the way, Dora, told me about some learning strategy she has. Let's ask her once again, Dora, what learning strategies do you use uh, to practice your English? Um, I have uh, tried different strategies uh, for translation to uh, speaking with Native Americans. In this long process, I have received a lot of advice, so, such as listening to music in English, watching watching Netflix or movies uh, in English uh, with subtitles. Uh, I have studied in different institutes, and I have uh, taken online courses. I practice every day at my work. Uh, I read books in English. Um, I also have some levels in my room with the most difficult word for me. And so I think I have really tried and I will always try this language. Thank you, Laura. It's okay. Great, great. Wow, great to hear that, Dora. And Jose, I noticed you keep learning English and let me ask you, how have you been motivated to keep learning English? Oh, sure. Uh, I have been motivated in learning English uh, a few reasons. Between, uh, for example, uh, including my family, uh, having a better job, better opportunities, personal satisfaction, and the most important, uh, being uh, uh, a good a good person and uh, this is my reason myself and my future no more hey, okay and what about you Shalom now you are an English teacher so let me ask you uh, which skill do you think is the easiest or it is one for you? Well, well, that is a difficult question. I wouldn't dare to say that there is one skill that is the easiest one. Nevertheless, the one that I actually practice the most is speaking, meaning that for me, speaking is way better than reading or writing. And well, I would also say, for example, that to listen is also another skill, but just to answer briefly, speaking would be the one. <laughs> Thank you very much for that question, love. Juana, I have heard, I have heard you. You started uh, studying a bachelor in English at a university. Uh, yes. I guess it's the UNAT one, right? Yes. Oh, why did you decide to study uh, an English degree at UNAT? 
Well, I have a lot of reasons. And the first was the university really gave me the option of being able ma to manage my time. And because the program is very complete uh, to be a virtual learning. Besides that, the platform and the activities are completely self-taught. And it's a good opportunity to learn. That sounds amazing, Juana. I'm so happy that you were able to get enrolled at UNAT. And well, as soon as you get graduated, please let me know. I also have a question. I think that Laura was studying at UNAT University also. So, Laura, let me know, please. What have you studied before you started studying this bachelor degree? Uh, it's a good question. I started studying this degree. I did an uh, English course at ULI, ULUT, from uh, District Al University for three months until I got the uh, chicken post. And I, I had to stay home while I record my health. After that, I uh, entered uh, to the program from UNAT, UNAT English, and I begin to know the platform and I, I decide to into in, in a degree. Sounds amazing, Lau. I didn't know that you were studying at Ilut Institute before, but that sounds amazing. I'm, I'm so happy to have you at UNAD University also. And when I have a quick question now, because since you are new about studying at UNAD, and we understand that the platform is sometimes crazy, let me know how is English practiced by you now? Um, okay, shalom. English practice by me in this moment is um, working in with the um, I oh my god. <laughs> oh, don't you worry. For example, when I started at UNAD University, I started to watch videos to know how to handle the platform, but let me know, how is your experience now? Uh, now I have a good um, relationship with the platform and the university. <laughs> In this moment, it's more e easy and with the language uh, too, because I have a lot of strategies to improve the, the, the language. I uh, speak with me and uh, thinking in English um, because I want to improve English to have a different uh, life um, have the opportunity to live in another country um, I study every day so that is why I practice is for have a better future for me and my family mm -hmm. awesome um, Good question, Shalom. But Juana, let me ask you, uh, what other language would you be interested in learning? Oh, I have a basis of French, like I said before. I like to continue with this learning, but I want to learn uh, German or Mandarin. Great. Well, I love language. Um, Shalom, let me ask you, how long have you been studying English in general? Well, when I, in general, I would say that I've been studying English around four years, almost five. But yes, well, I've been doing this language around four years already, and it has been an amazing, amazing experience. Now, I have a quick question for Dora because she is so shy and she hasn't spoken yet. So, uh, Dora, let me ask you, where did your interest for English came from? 
Uh, for me, the, um, okay, I remember why I am studying English and I think my interest, interest comes from the love I have for this language. Uh, many years ago, I hate English, but I met an excellent teacher and with her, I learned to love it again. And today, this is my dream. Uh, I want to speak uh, the second language uh, friendly, uh, with friendly and comfortable. And that's it. Thank you, Shalom. Okay, let me know. Uh, what has been your biggest difficulty learning English, Jose Miguel? Oh, <laughs> for me, it's a good question. I have had many. But my biggest difficulty in my process has been the lack of a teacher in person. You know, uh, we have questions, we need explanations, sometimes we have problems. Also, the need for a partner to practice does develop different skills. This is two important things and biggest difficulties for me. Okay, thank you, Jose. Um, now, I have a question, Laura. What did you decide to study for a bachelor's degree? Okay, for a very young age, I was in contact with the language. My father loved English. He carried out to mission of ONU um, to Croatia and Serbia and uh, the second is in IT. In, um, so when he returned uh, to Colombia, um, he used to listen to music in English, to speak, so, to uh, learn uh, more about the language. Uh, uh, when I growing up, um, my favorite subject was English, um, and I I was interested in this language, but I afraid <laughs> of being a teacher because my voice is my voice level is isn't loud. But then I realized that this one unfor uh, fear and I desire to study the this degree because I love share my knowledge and I love the English is the perfect couple. <laughs> I think that you're um voice level it's just fine you just need to learn how to use it whenever you are in a classroom but i i would bet that you will be a great teacher so you don't need to worry about it. you made a good decision yes i was a uh, adolescent and i was the idea <laughs> it's different now <laughs> Okay, Lau, I have a question for you. What has been the better experience like a teacher or a student? Okay, as a teacher, I'm sure that were when I do a replacement to a friend uh, in an institution, ULA, I don't know if you know it, but... Um, yeah. I have in contact uh, with two groups, uh, one of children and two of adolescents and adults. And I, I do in contact with the beauty of the learning process and as the beauty of the teaching or to children. The children is so lovely, so uh, focus on she loves uh, learning as a, a new new shows and new ideas from our new language. Uh, 
as a student, I think that the the opened my mind uh, from the new uh, knowledge, new information, because the information in Spanish is so limited, but in English is, is mm, very uh, uh, big. And uh, we, if you learning a new language, we expand your horizon and learn uh, about different things. Perfect. Laura, I also have a question. How long has your English learning process lasted? Okay, as I said before, um, English has been in my context in my life uh, forever, uh, all my life. I growing up, uh, listen the music. Uh, uh, when my father uh, be become of the mission, and we growing up, uh, listen the Beatles, BG, UB40. Uh, is my favorite subject, and um, uh, I I was uh, interested to learn uh, autonomously. Then during the U, I have continued to expand my knowledge and uh, vocabulary, and I consider that learning a language is a constantly changing process that never ends. There is always something new to learn. Great, thanks. Oh, interesting, Laura. So, Dora, I want to hear you and I have a question for you. What have been the most difficult aspects of the appropriation of language and culture during university? Uh, the finally the most difficult aspect for me uh, has been viral education because uh, after many years I believe that to learn a second language in person or face to face education is necessary. And when you study at a distance, uh, you don't have a support or to solve uh, questions or practice and not uh, everyone has the ability to learn empirically. And other aspects would be uh, not knowing your classmates uh, to interact or practice because I'm very sociable and I learn better in a group. Thank you, Juan. Hey, Chalon, you are also studying virtual, right? Yes, I am. How have technological tools help you in your learning virtual process? Well, that's a really good question, Jose. Um, I would say that technological tools have helped me out a lot during my learning process. As you may know, guys, we need to use YouTube and, well, I enjoy watching movies, so I use Netflix, Disney, Amazon to get in touch with the language since we just speak Spanish here. So, of course, that had helped me out a lot. And, well, those are extremely important. Also, because at UNAD University, we have a virtual platform where you can find the database that you will need to develop your task. So. It has been a really, really uh, helpful tool nowadays. Oh, yes, internet is important for us. It's Thank everything. <laughs> yes. Yeah, now internet is everything. Everything for us. Yeah, and with this pandemic, we have uh, 
to use the internet um, with with everything yeah. to work even more <laughs> for everything. Yes. We are <laughs> of, the, of the internet and the platforms. I'm sorry. Uh, well, um, just to finish with the topic, I have only last question. Uh, Jose, what advice would you give to someone we want to learn English? Okay, in my opinion, my advice to those who wish more about English is this. Uh, we need to believe in ourselves, in myself. Uh, we need to practice every day. Uh, we need to study the different tools and skills in English, especially uh, speaking and listening. Uh, my advice is uh, about our faith in our goals, in our projects, uh, in our process, in, in our career. Uh, I think this is the most important, believe in ourselves. And I have a question uh, for you. Uh, no, it's your time. <laughs> <laughs> too many questions, Jose. Too many questions. <laughs> uh, Adora, I, I want to... <laughs> Tell me, uh, Jose. The sense. What effect had the COVID-19 pandemic on your relationship with family and friends? Uh, this pandemic has been very difficult for everyone. Uh, however, for some people, it has been more difficult than uh, for others. Uh, in my case, my family is fine. Uh, no, no members of my family has been infected with COVID. And we have defended ourselves financially. Uh, my best friend became infected when the virus arrived in Colombia. Uh, those uh, were very hard days for me because I took care of him and I was in the hospital with him, but thank God uh, he returned home. Uh, but I feel uh, that friendships, uh, love and family bonding have been stretched in general uh, during pandemic. Thank you, Jose. I'm so happy to know that your friend is okay. Believe me, I do. Yes. I also have a quick question now that we are talking about COVID, right? Um, this is for Jose. Jose, uh, how have you been working before a COVID-19 outbreak? Yes. I'm happy. Uh, as Juan Gabriel said, I was happy. Um, <laughs> I remember uh, I could enter the houses without problems uh, we had more security for each other i could visit my family friends and with no fears and the life obviously it was beautiful uh, i hope these times are come again uh, no more uh, like you uh, uh, I, I want to I want to come these beautiful days again. Yes. Okay, Carla. Uh, now that you are living in another country, may I ask you a question? Uh, what has been your favorite place to go on vacation? Well, there are, even though I'm living in a different country, I would always say that Colombia is the most beautiful country you can ever visit and i would um i would say that my favorite place would be always be buritaca that is a beach located in santa marta so if you happen to have time to go there i would recommend you to please enjoy the experience get relaxed relaxed and just chill there Okay, my friends, as I was explaining to you, I am actually working, so I gotta go, but it was a really pleasure for me to 
talk to you, have a cup of coffee with you. I really enjoy it. Well, let's see that. Uh, let's move to next week to see each other. Please take care, guys. I gotta go. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Take care. Good luck.